Alrighty, welcome back, welcome back. Get the basics done here. Oh, come on, little buddy. There we go. All that good. All right. I'm at twelve K. Okay. All righty. So I've been discussing, uh, several factors uh, that go into various different pieces um, I am at the difficult point where it is very uh, tough to get the amount of EXP needed so I will show a couple of options for that um, and then I'm going to discuss kind of some of the things that I plan on talking about next. So we'll just go here, here, spin those. Okay. Oh. Uh, where am I at on Jade? Two, six. Okay. So I know I talk about the black market from time to time. Uh, it is fairly useful. Um, if I need them, I do buy the four star hero fragments for gold. Uh, I do try to go for some of the EXP. Right now I need EXP pretty bad, but I don't want to spend gems. So I'm going to look for any, oh, okay, well, I'm out of that already. Um, see what we can get here, because I'm going to be doing some things with characters to kind of uh, bring forward some, some things. Ooh, I got some EXP out of that. Um, so I think I've talked about it beforehand where it's um, fairly costly as you go up. To uh, increase your characters. Grab what we can out of here. Um, cool. <clears throat> so, right now, I am at the point where I have to push a few characters up. One of those I would like to push up would be Merlin to four so that I can sacrifice Merlin. Uh, I also want to push Seth up so I need a lot of wind. Um, Do I, what do I need for Medusa's Awakening? Oh, I do have one of her already. Okay, good. 
Um, when it comes to cannon fodder, we're always going to run out. There's no way around it. Same way with EXP. You know, we're, our resources are limited and they will never be infinite. Um, which is never a bad thing. It keeps you going, uh, on a continuous basis. Yep, not gonna get it all the way up there. Um, so I kind of want to talk about progress. How do you make that progress? And what do you want to see with that progress? Um... So I'll talk about my goals. Right now I have Wukong to 10 stars. To go up another star, I need a uh, 6 star Wukong. And then I need a 9 star of any character. Um, That'll get him to 11 stars. And then I can get them up to 300. Oh, nice. Um, my next ones that I want to bring up to 10 stars is actually Seth. Um... The reason for this being is I want somebody that knocks out a lot of damage. Uh, currently, and I'll show Arena, I run in between, uh, oh, about 50, anywhere from, all oh, 15 to about 50, uh, in Arena. And I face some pretty heavy characters. This is one gentleman that I lose to all the time. Uh, his 10 star Seth outdoes me every time. Now, it's not a bad thing. Um, and there's nothing for being upset about. Because uh, another player can always be stronger. <clears throat> And so the only way to catch up to those individuals is by improving yourself. So you have to look at who do you want to improve next. I'm just going to skip this because uh, these are kind of sometimes boring for me to watch. I guess that's just me though. Um... It does look like Eris. So this is the, I'm going to watch this because I haven't got a chance to see Eris a whole lot. She is taking a lot of damage. So she is super, super squishy. Uh, Mulan is dealing a fair amount of damage. She's back. Um, yeah, I'd say Eris is just a little... Either I'm super powerful or Eris is just extremely squishy. I don't know what to make of it fully. <clears throat> but I don't feel that she's going to be strong enough to uh, be considered a tier 1 character. I would say she's tier 2 at best. She does dish some good damage out. Um, but she does have to be in the right team to be able to survive. Um, Charlotte's shield does a lot of good work. Um, I am working on uh, the pieces for Michael. Um, so I will I'll show that here. I don't know if I talked about... Oh, thank you. I do have one Michael <clears throat> that I got out of uh, 
divination so if you're looking at getting some of the really powerful as you divinate you use the shop i would suggest using the divination shop for your light so it costs 45 for michael and for your dark so sphinx uh hera nyx some people use burial um i'm not sure what to think of burial um So when you're building your team, as we've seen with that one battle, you know, Eris, Eris dealt some damage out, but she didn't flow with the team, and the whole team was kind of scattered. Uh, you do want some type of front-end tank. That is guaranteed. Um, I use Wukong. It's just my preference. I know a lot of people that use Solomon. I don't like Solomon because I don't like going through the normal, uh, just how I feel. Now, if you face a Solomon and you need a way to um, hold him down or have a chance of holding him down, do look for runes with Seal 2. Um, with the build of Tiamat, she's able to do quite a bit. So there's M Combo. As well as seal and slow. So I'm able to provide quite a bit. Um, this is what helps me progress. Um, some of these runes are newer as well. So purify is also a newer one. Where I have a chance to clear debuffs. So it helps Charlotte last a little longer. As well as. Cure 1, where I restore HP after the actions are finished with her. Um, and that's how I'm progressing, is <clears throat> I'm learning by how I watch other teams in... Um, essentially, Arena. Um... By watching the arena, I can get a better understanding of which characters are standing strong and which ones are standing weak. Uh, the way I'm currently working things, uh, I'm losing some of my strength. Uh, I just used my... Um, oh, wait. That was, on, that was on my other one, excuse me. On my Smurf, I just used uh, the three element to get my Tiamat up. So my little guy's at 550k. I'll have to show him one of these days to show his progress. <clears throat> Ooh, what do we have here? Ah. Uh. Layra is always sometimes you gotta talk a little shit. Uh, we just beat the first, uh, or the top guild and uh, server 1, so Mafia TH. Uh, I unfortunately flopped. I was not able to beat anybody. That's alright, though. Um, and that shows the progress I still have to make, you know. Even though I'm strong, I still have progress to make. My goals um, going forward are I want to bring Izanami up to four and sacrifice Izanami. I want to bring Merlin up and then sacrifice Merlin. I do have a Merlin here, so I have, uh, you know, one piece to sacrifice. Uh, I'm running low on my waters again. Um, yeah. 
the progress that you make will always seem slow, but it's rather quick. It doesn't take, you know, a large... Oh, I still need one more icy. Okay. Um, it doesn't really take a whole lot, but it feels like a whole lot. <clears throat> and that's what makes a difference. And that progress that you make, you know, is... I'm a little over 30 days in, you know, a little over a month in. And I've made exponential amount of progress without making any purchases in the game. Uh, that's my personal opinion. Um, and how I've done it is by learning the characters, how the characters work. Uh-oh. Okay, there we go. Um, and some of the various factors. Um now nothing came easy of course it was definitely a very slow process uh i don't like that pull that'll work anything good i did get the dart okay good um so as you're making the slow progress, that probably feels like it's taking ages, uh, take some time <clears throat> and learn the characters. Um, feel free to watch through the various amount of guides that I have. Uh, take some time to learn various different uh pieces inside of this game, you know, how runes work, uh, always look at, you know, your Tower of Rebirth, and learn how, you know, each piece works, you got Hero Replace, you know, um, all these pieces will help you progress at a rapid pace, Trying to make sure I don't go too, too long here. Um, build up your parts and pieces. You know, once a week do a full summoning. I kind of throw away some of my summoning because I do stuff a little bit weird. We do have an amazing boss. Our guild boss is absolutely amazing. Um, you want drive, you know, learn everything. There's never a point where you don't have something to learn. And even myself, I'm still learning. I have more to learn. I have more to understand. I have more to figure out on how characters work together and it will never stop and I'm kind of thankful it will never stop because all these that I'm learning will take me forward to the next step you know learning how to take on more teams efficiently learning how to um, use my teams in an efficient manner. Uh, and some of the various effects that go along with it. If you're struggling now, be okay with that struggle. Take the time to learn because this is a good game. I've seen some, you know, some players, and I've had conversations with players where they talk about this game might die quick. 
The only thing that makes a game die quick is a player not choosing to learn. They give up at a certain point because they feel that they that the game isn't the way they like it when all they had to do was learn it. And learning it um, is a fairly easy process. Such so as I teach you guys uh, some of the different things in game. <clears throat> um, I'm also learning myself. Uh, I think I am going to actually burn everything here while I do this. Um, to learn the game helps bring you forward. To go forward will help make this game more entertaining. It's not a bad game. It's rather entertaining. And if you're around the right people, this game has a lot to offer. Um, and the question is, is what do you want to offer the game? Do you want to just look at it and go, well, I messed up my team. I got nothing, you know, I can't restart, so I'm just going to quit it. Or I've hit a point where I can't do anything and I'm just going to quit. <clears throat> that doesn't seem like a good answer in my eyes. Normally, I play tower defense, you know, uh, Infinitoad 2. Uh, I used to play the old Xenonia games, a lot of, like, RPG games, stuff like that. And so I never got big into these kind of games. This is the first game that I stepped into in a long time where I'm looking at it as it's time to learn. There's something to learn at all times. There's things that I can take in and figure out and never stop going. And that helps my progression. I messed up my teams right off the bat just wanting to learn. <clears throat> In the long run, it's helping me. I'm able to progress forward. I'm able to do other things with my teams that many others might not get a chance to do and ooh, which one do I want to make stronger uh, I kind of want to make my Michelle stronger okay um another trick that I do is I'll go like right here, I'll hit auto equip, and I'll start going down my characters, and I'll auto equip my characters till I get down to the green. And once I'm down to the green, I start pushing my equipment up. <coughs> so I can progress my gear. Ooh, excuse me. And all of that takes into account progression. Things that I've had to learn to progress. So, how do you want to progress? Uh, do you want to just give up on the game and say it's going to die off and walk away and not give it a chance? Or are you willing to learn what's in this game and try and go forward with it along with the players that are here? Uh, I appreciate y'all. I hope this helps you guys. And y'all have a good one. I've been making these a little too long. My bad. Oop.